Dorothy? Dorothy, are you okay? Oh, what a dream. Oh, I dreamt that you and Stan were in bed together. Oh, God, the nightmare continues. How could you do this? How could you do this to me? Dorothy, there's a hurricane a-coming. Fierce winds and driving rains. Who knows what's going to happen to all of us? I felt scared and vulnerable. Oh, Stan, you big, bald girl. <laughs> Look, I know it's wrong, but I was confused. So I called Dr. Halper, and he's coming over right away. This, this is all my fault. No, it's my fault. Maybe it's my fault. I mean, who goes to their room in the middle of the day without knocking? <laughs> oh, pussycat, you've come too. Boy, it wasn't easy getting you in here. Stan took your head, Gloria took your legs. I haven't heard such heavy breathing since, well, since before you passed out. Ma, please. Oh, come on, when I said that to Stan, he laughed so hard he dropped you. Oh, you sound happy about this. I am, this is wonderful. Your sister found a man. I don't believe this. All the years I was with him, he was a yutz. She goes to bed with him and it's great? That's right, it was wrong for you. He's perfect for her. Ma, that's ridiculous. Look, Gloria isn't the kind of woman that does well by herself. She's the kind of woman who needs a rich man to buy her things and make her feel special. Oh, and what kind of woman am I? The kind who should live with her mother. <laughs> now, come in, doctor. Oh, Dorothy. Oh. Hello, uh, Dorothy. Carol, this isn't a good time. Well, you know me. When is it a good time? Besides, I'm with him. We were on a date when you beeped him. What? You two are seeing each other? You know, for years, my father's been telling me to see a psychiatrist. <laughs> I couldn't understand why. And then a couple of weeks ago, it dawned on me. He probably meant socially. Oh, it's wonderful. They really listen. She really talks. <laughs> nice robe. Why don't I put you down for an extra session this week? <laughs> Uh, look, Carol, it's nice to see you, but this is really a rather personal matter. Oh, don't worry. Richie tells me about all his cases. That isn't true, is it, Richie? <laughs> don't worry. I tell her things in very general terms, and I make up wild, crazy names for my patients. So there's no way she could know who I was talking about. Yeah, but nevertheless... Oh, I'm... my God. I'm in the way. I can go in the kitchen. Why don't I go in the kitchen? You know, I used to worry that I would miss something, but that was before Richie. He's making me so unneurotic. Don't talk about me, it'll kill me. So, kids, what's going on? Well, Doc, I uh, have some news. I sort of slept with Dorothy's sister. Hey, you're off the monkey, mazel tov. <laughs> What is it? You're Dan and Morothy. <laughs> Wild and crazy names. Carol, this is a different Dan and Morothy. You mean these aren't the two nuts who couldn't stop seeing each other? Dan, a sex-crazed nudnik with occasional performance problems, and Morothy, a domineering tyrant who totally emasculated him? No more calls. We have a winner. I can't believe this. An hour ago, my life was perfect. I was finally rid of Dan. I felt good about my sister being back. And now this. How am I supposed to cope with this? Believe me, Dorothy, it won't happen again. Okay, we had a slip up here, but better in the first two years of the separation than later. Stan, you have to try again. Dorothy, if you need to talk about how you feel, I'm always here for you. And half price because of the Dan and Marthy thing. <laughs> Carol, come on. <clears throat> What would make Stan do such a thing? Well, strict Freudians would call it a codependence transference. But if you ask me, men are pigs. Yeah.